Hello again everyone, this is the um, wrap up to the video I posted previously. Um, this is going to be focusing on new releases that came out in 2021. Um, the ones that I've loved, um, I'm going to talk about some that maybe were okay but um, didn't quite you know, strike the chord in me that I wanted them to. And so I'm going to start with, I've got a stack of um, kind of honorable mentions, albums that I like but didn't make my top 10. And then I have a top 10, which, you know, I kind of just threw it together a few minutes ago. It's not exactly like, you know, a top 10, but like out of the 20 albums or so that I have here, there's the 10 that um, warranted a few more listens. So with that being said, here's some honorable mentions in no particular order. Um, the first is the um, proper solo debut from uh, Oliver Wood of the Wood Brothers. Uh, you've heard me talk about the Wood Brothers many, many times. This is great Americana, blues, um, a little bit of gospel thrown in. There's a, um, there's a hidden track at the end called Needed Time, which my band has done at church. And um, just a really cool record. I'm actually going to see him in April um, supporting this record. So... Um, it's called Always Smiling, and it's a really cool record. Check it out, Oliver Wood. Next is the first of two Willie Nelson albums that came out this year. This is one of the first albums, I think, that I got in 2021 that was new. This is um, That's Life, which is kind of the follow-up to his album My Way. Um, it's in the same vein as like Stardust and some of those summertime albums that he's done in the past where he's covered the Great American Songbook. Um, he's got a duet on here with Diana Krall, and it's just, I've done a, um, a review on it on another video, but um, it was a really, really fun record, really nice summertime listening. Next is, I think, probably the newest album in this stack of records. This is the new uh, Raise the Roof album by Robert Plant and Allison Krauss. Just some great covers on here I've seen. Lots of different live performances that they've done on various talk shows here in the United States. Um, and probably the reason this album is not in my top 10 is because I just haven't given it the proper um, attention that it needs yet. I've only had it for a couple weeks. But um, it's really cool. Raise the Roof. Um, it's their follow-up to their first album together 14 years ago. All right, um, next, let me just knock these out. These are a couple of EPs that Ringo put out this year. Um, Zoom In is this one, and then Change the World uh, came out in the fall. Uh, Ringo decided he's not going to do full-length studio albums anymore, and instead is just going to do an EP whenever he feels like it. So this year he decided, I'm going to put out two. So he did these during quarantine. Um, the first zoom in is probably my favorite the song here's to the nights is a great you know drinking song very um celtic in nature he's got all of his friends on here you know um lenny kravitz paul mccartney joe walsh steve lukather um chris stapleton the list goes on and on so um this was this was really um a really fun ep to get from ringo um as he's now 81 years old and this is the second, it's called Change the World. It's only four tracks. Um, the last song is a cover of Rock Around the Clock. This one was okay. Um, a lot of people gave this album a lot of heat. Um, I kind of liked it. Uh, it was very overpriced for what it was. It was the price of a normal CD, um, but it's only four songs. So it's kind of, you know, annoying that Ringo is putting out two albums a year and, you know, you're spending $15 for a four song. EP. Um, next, I did a video on this as well. This is a tribute album to Brian Wilson by the artists of Jim Records. Now, my friend uh, Matthew Street told me about this CD um, during a, a video earlier this year. Um, you have some great Brian Wilson Beach Boy songs, The Warmth of the Sun, Help Me Rhonda, um, Love and Mercy, which is a solo track, um, In My Room. You've also got some deeper cuts, like uh, Girl Don't Tell Me, You're So Good to Me, Please Let Me Wonder, I Love Just Wants to See You. Really great stuff. It's a fun album. Um, I listened to this a lot um, a couple of months over the summer, and uh, I think it's still out there. It's not on vinyl yet. Um, I'm not sure if it will be, but this is a really cool 
Um, tribute to Brian Wilson, who's one of my favorites. All right. Um, and I failed to mention also the um, the Brian Wilson um, solo piano album is also on this list. I don't have it with me, but um, that also made the cut of my honorable mentions, which I did a video, a few videos back. Next is the um, new Christmas album that I got this year that actually came out this year. This is uh, The Season by Steve Perry, formerly of Journey. Um, I'm not a big Journey fan, just I think mostly because they're overplayed. But um, you have eight tracks here that Steve Perry does, um, all secular Christmas songs. Um, you have the Christmas song, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Auld Lang Syne, Winter Wonderland, What Are You Doing New Year's Eve, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Silver Bells, and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And um, it's cool to hear his voice. He, he kind of sounds like Smokey Robinson and some old Motown folks on a few of these songs. And I've listened to this a few times, and it's a neat little quick, you know, 28, 29-minute Christmas CD. I'm going to try to really get through this. I'm probably going too slow, so I'm going to run through these last four here. Next, um, Matt, don't hate me, but ABBA Voyage um, made the honorable mentions list. I did a review on this, so I won't go into it too much, but it was their first release really in 40 years and with all four original members, so that also made the list. Next is JT by Steve Earle, and I know my friend Glenn Kellaway liked this album a lot too. His actually made top of his list, toward the top of his list for 2021, but it's a tribute album to his son, Justin Towns Earle. Um, I think I've done, a, I did a video on this as well. So it's great renditions of Justin Towns Earle songs by his father. Next is um, an album by the, the duo Watch House formerly uh, Mandolin Orange. They're a folk slash country slash bluegrass duo out of North Carolina. And um, this is the first album under their new name. So it's kind of like spacey folk bluegrass music, um, but not fast like bluegrass. It's slow music, but really cool album. I've really gotten into them um, this past year. And lastly, this is the latest from Barry Gibb. It's called the Gibb Brothers Songbook, um, Volume 1. So it's going to be um, a two-parter at least. And he's got all of, um, you know, a lot of his hits on here from BG's and solo career. Um, it's They're all duets with country artists. So you have everybody from Jillian Welsh and David Rawlings to Jay Buchanan um, of Rival Sons. Uh, Keith Urban, Jason Isbell, Brandy Carlisle, Allison Krauss, Little Big Town, Dolly Parton, Miranda Lambert, uh, Tommy Emanuel, and Little Big Town, um, Cheryl Crow, and Olivia Newton John. And you've got it all produced by Dave Cobb. Really cool um, to see you know, Barry Gibb do kind of a country style record. So let me now move into my top 10 list here. And this is in order, kind of. Um, number 10 is surprisingly Van Morrison's uh, latest record project, Volume 1. Um, and I think probably the reason is because of how long it is. Um, otherwise, I probably would have listened to it a lot more. But it's got some great songs. Up County Down, Up County Down is a really fun song. Um, Love Should Come With a Warning. Um, only a song is cool. Deadbeat Saturday Night, Psychoanalyst Ball. It's got some classic Van stuff on here. Um, it's kind of his quarantine project. Uh, not too political, which is good, um, considering Van's current um, heat in the press. But um, I'm looking forward to Volume Two whenever that comes out. Number nine. This is the solo album by Wesley Schultz of the Lumineers. It's called Vignettes, and it's all cover songs. Um, there's the track listing, so I won't really read those off to you. You can pause, but he does a beautiful version of Operator by Jim Croce. That's probably the highlight for me. And Downtown Train by um, Tom Waits, which was made famous by Springsteen. So that's a really fun, well, not fun, sorry. It's a really cool, um, relaxing songwriter kind of record. Number eight is the latest from John Mayer, Sob Rock. Um, the reason this is so low as well is 
Um, this is kind of, it's, it's a very uh, overproduced album, even though it's produced by Don Was and John Mayer. But he's got a lot of 80s influences on it, as you can see by the cover. Um, it's got some good songs on here. Some of them are a few years old that he's released as digital singles. But um, it was a pretty good album overall. Definitely not my favorite John Mayer. Um, probably not even in my top four. Definitely not my top three. But it's it's a it's a it's a solid effort. Um, so this is number seven. This is the second Willie Nelson album that came out this year. This is the most recent. It's called Family, and it's really pretty much a gospel album that Willie did with members of his extended family and immediate family. Um, you have stuff that's old, um, kneel at the feet of Jesus, laying my burdens down, family Bible in the garden, um, a beautiful rendition of George Harrison's All Things Must Pass, sung by uh, his son Lucas, and then I Saw the Light as a duet with him and Lucas. And then there's a really cool version of A Thought About You, Lord, which his son Micah sings, which might be my favorite on the album. Um, I also did a review on this, so check that out. But um, yeah, the Willie Nelson family. So 10, 9, 8, 7, number 6. This is the latest from um, Jackson Brown. It's called Downhill From Everywhere, um, produced by Jackson. I got to see Jackson on tour with James Taylor over the summer. Um, the reason this album is probably in the middle is I would say probably 80% of it is very good. And then the other 20% is kind of hit or miss. So um, it's not a perfect album, but songs like the first two are boom, boom. Um, Still looking for something. And my Cleveland heart are just fantastic songs. Um, a human touch is a beautiful duet. The song Downhill From Everywhere is really good. Um, a little soon to say is good. Um, just It's classic Jackson Brown. Um, his voice is pretty good for somebody in their mid-70s. So Jackson Brown, Downhill From Everywhere. So this is number 5, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Yep. This is the latest from Pokey Lafarge. Um, this is on New West Records, which he, I think, recently signed to. This is In the Blossom of Their Shade, which comes about a year after his last album, which was called Rock Bottom Rhapsody. This is a good album. It's not my favorite by him. Um, I prefer the two prior to this. Um, but it's probably my top three favorite Pokey albums. Uh, great songs on it. Uh, Get It For It's Gone. Um, Drink of You, Rotterdam, um, Good Night, Goodbye, Hope Not Forever. Just really good. If you know Pokey Lafarge, you know he's ever evolving. He started as kind of doing like ragtime kind of music and he moved into rockabilly and then he moved into like symphony on his last album. And this is kind of like summery, islandy, really fun album. So this is Pokey Lafarge and the Blossom of Their Shade. Number four, also off of New West Records, this is um, The Wallflowers' Exit Wounds. This is a fantastic album. I listened to this a lot over the summer. Um, of course, Jacob Dylan, Bob Dylan's son. It's essentially a Jacob Dylan solo album with the guys that tour as The Wallflowers. They're, he's the only original Wallflower, um, and the other guys in the band have only been in the band for a couple of years, but it's the first Wallflowers album in over a decade, I think. Uh, great songs on here. Maybe Your Heart's Not In It No More, Roots and Wings, I Hear the Ocean When I Want to Hear Trains, um, Who's That Man Walking Around My Garden, just really great rock, um, rock songs, country rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see, number three. And another album I failed to mention was the newest um, Wild, Fle Wild Feathers album, Alvarado. I've only listened to that once, um, so I can't throw that into my list. But um, it's a it, it is it's a very good record, and probably would make my top ten if I had more time with it. But anyway, number three. I'm sorry, Glenn. This is my number three. Um, Dolan sings Nesmith. I mean, it's a pretty perfect record. 
and even more so now that Nez has passed away. Um, it's Mickey Dolan's of the Monkees singing Michael Nesmith tunes, both from the Monkees and Solo, put out by 7A Records. Beautiful packaging, um, a great booklet in there, um, you know, cool images. And you have stuff like Different Drum, Keep On, Marie's Theme, Nine Times Blue, Circle Sky, Propinquity, Tapioca Tundra, um, and then a C CD bonus track of the uh, Grand Ennui. And Mickey Dolan's is in fine voice. Um, it's produced by um, Mike's son, Christian. And so it was a quarantine record as well. So it's essentially Christian playing all the instruments and Mickey singing. And his voice sounds fantastic. So God bless Mike Nesmith. Number two, this is a fantastic album. If you don't know this album, if you like Americana, if you like um, so if you like Tom Petty rock, Birds, um, Neil Young a little bit, this is Lucas Nelson and Promise of the Real, A Few Stars Apart. And oh, it's just so good. I've listened to this album a lot. It's also produced by Dave Cobb, who produced the Barry Gibb album songs. Um, Perennial Bloom is a killer Birds jangle rock song. A Few Stars Apart's beautiful vocals. No Reason is, is cool. Um, Wildest Dream is another Birds, Tom Petty sounding song. Uh, Hand Me a Light is a great, um, it's, it's, that sounds like a Willie, a Willie Nelson song. And then the last song, um, Smile, is really, is really pretty too. Um, just check, please check out this album. It's a killer rock and roll album. Um, if you don't like Willie Nelson, um, you'd still like this album. Um, my mom doesn't like Willie Nelson because of his um, vocal inflections. Lucas sounds like his dad, but it's it's almost like more honed in vocals. Plus, Lucas definitely takes inspiration from Tom Petty, Neil Young, The Birds, that sort of thing. So this is my number two. Lucas Nelson, Promise of the Real, A Few Stars Apart. And if you watch my channel at all, uh, you don't take this as any surprise when I mention my number one, which is Lord Huron, Long Lost. Man, what a album. This band um, was really, I introduced myself to um, just this just this year. I'd never listened to Lord Huron um, intently, but now I've got all their albums, but this one beats them all, hands down. It is flawless. Um, even it's got like a, it's, it's essentially set up like a, um, like a radio broadcast. So it's kind of got some concept you know, feel about it. But, um, let me tell you this song, um, with Alison Pontier called I Lied might be the most beautiful song of at least the decade. Um, I wouldn't say the last 20 years, but it's beautiful. Just lyrics about telling somebody you love them, but then realizing years later that you really don't love them anymore. So like when you told them, I love you, you lied to them. So it's really deep, but um, it's, you're supposed to be like, you're at a place called Whispering Pine Studio. So there are some spoken word interludes, like 22 second, five second interludes. Um, and then the final side of the vinyl is called Times Blur, and it's just a 14-minute, like, spacey, ethereal, um, like, blurring of, <laughs> blurring of time. I mean, it, it, it kind of takes the sound of Lord Huron and just, like, takes all the songs and just, like, melts them. So, like, what I think of, like, with that song is, like, you have, um, like... A lot of like crayons for example and like the wax is melting and it's all the wax melting at the bottom together so it's like the individual pieces are coming down to make up one other thing but um anyway that's the best album of 2021 check it out i have it on vinyl and on cd um and i think that will do it for my 2021 finds um and listens so i thank you all for watching me this year um I think this is my last video of 2021. 
So I will see you all in the new year with hopefully a lot more good music. Um, I've got some great um, concerts coming up, some reviews to do. So I'm looking forward to taking care of those um, come springtime. Thank you all. God bless you all. And everybody have a happy new year. Take care.